Hello learners of class 12. Welcome to APIO, the annual preparatory program for enhancement in academics and revision in English. Learners, we are doing the second part of reading, module 2. Learners, we have seen in the first module strategies for reading, types of text and purposes of reading, uh, many more things, some of the strategies for reading and yeah. why and how reading is done and how one can be a better reader. Right. So learners, in this we will learn little more, a bit more uh, deeply on the strategies than what a reader does when he reads, meaningful reader. So learners, to do this with you is Heman from Central Institute of Educational Technology Thank and you. I am R. Meganathan from the Department of Education and Languages, NCRT. We will together learn some of the strategies. Yeah. Right, sir. Okay. Uh, in the first thing, uh, first lesson, we made uh, some statements. The reading is for meaning making. Right, sir. Comprehension. Right, sir. Then some of the strategies we use. Mm -hmm. So, uh, then why do we need to go further? We uh, need to understand about further strategies so that we can uh, understand the context of the text and the, how, what the text is actually trying to convey to the Fine. reader. Okay, we, we will be we will make you better readers. Right. Fine. And the reading comes by reading. Right. Driving right. comes by driving. Driving. So, so it's a skill. That's why we call it a skill. Right. Learners, read and read more. And let's also know the strategies for reading. Right. There's something called skimming, scanning, inferential skills, how context matters. Suppose all of a sudden I am given a text about, let us say, uh, nuclear physics. Right. I am an English language teacher, I yeah. will not be able to understand. So I need the context to understand. Right. To understand. Come on, uh, before we move on to, let's let's set objectives for ourselves. Right. Here sir. are the objectives. Right. Heman will read for you. Yes, sir. So the objectives are as follows. Uh, learner, through this module, you will be able to skim text for main ideas, scan text to locate specific information, derive meanings of unfamiliar words using contextual clues and infer meanings based on the information provided in the text and the last objective is to apply different reading strategies for different text. And that's what I was saying. No? Yeah. The learners will know what is skimming, scanning right. and inferential skills, right, contextual sir. clues, then why I am reading a particular text, right. so what kind of strategies I will use for particular text. Text. Come on. So, we have been saying in the first module as well as now, uh, reading is meaning making. Mean right. I understand something when mm. I read. Right. For example, book. So, I know what a book is when I decode it. Right. And suppose someone who has never seen a book, there is nobody on earth. Right. Probably someone comes from Mars <laughs> or um, uh, Venus. Right. Uh, when he first looks at it, when you say book, uh, he won't be able to decode it, even decode it. Right. So the same way table. Every word is actually meaning. Right. So there's a poem by uh, some uh, some uh, known poet. Uh, it's it's a kind of Russian uh, poem. The so someone uh, this fellow gets uh, crazy and he wants to name table as chair, chair yeah. as table, okay. uh, or everything in a with the other thing. Way. Then uh, at last people thought that he is mad okay. because the general meaning yeah. he wanted to change. Mm -hmm. So, but suppose imagine someone uh, who called this table as table for the first time, mm -hmm. if he or she had called it, mm -hmm. uh, named it as chair, chair, we would be calling it chair. Right. So, learners, meaning is also arbitrate, arbitrary. Arbitrary. Uh, so, the arbitrary thing means we do not know why we have said pen as pen, pencil right. as pencil. Right. So, but it came with some purpose. Right. So, that, that later they are meaning no, or people okay. assign meaning to it. Right. So, how will I make meaning when I read? First and foremost thing in the strategies is skimming. You know that when I early in the morning, I read the newspaper of course, mm -hmm. but I have to come to school right. or, or, or my institution. So, I will quickly Just, uh, skim through. Right. So, <laughs> let's tell learners when you skim through a text, you don't read word for word, right. each and everything. You just look at this one. Right. So, look at, here is the example, what we do when we skim through the text. You quickly get the general idea of the text 
and you will not bother about each and every word right that, that's what okay uh, tell the learners how we can skim through right sir so to skim we can follow following steps like read the title subtitle and subheading to find out what the text is all about yes. okay you can read the title and leave it yeah right then look at the illustrations to give you further information about the topic then read the first and last sentence of each paragraph and last don't read every word or every sentence let your eyes skim over the text taking in keywords the the, the, the catch word is some of the keywords right sir then when will you do skimming? right right mm. so the following situations are when we use skimming when one needs to know the overall sense or the main idea of a text next when there are large amount of reading and limited time to review it in detail third when it is necessary to find out if the book should be read at all or in more detail and last when one needs to know if a text may be of interest in one's research okay suppose when i skim so i will actually find out oh this i can further read right so it's kind of glancing through suppose you go to a book stall mm -hmm. i look at the uh, last page right. uh, lo the wrapper and what is about mm. and the about the author right. then whether it is uh, it is of interest any interest or right. any purpose mm. so it will serve for me mm. so that's coming right. now learners the next strategy is next aspect of reading is scanning so suppose you are a class stu 12 student you will be applying for uh, now uh, iit technical courses medicine many many courses so you are reading a newspaper uh, about the courses available so right. you will be looking for your own area of interest to you specific information right, that's sir. what scanning is right. i shouldn't have said beforehand mm. but let me uh, say it so scanning is looking through the text quickly for some specific information right sir so what are the occasions when we really do it right so uh, for example if you are referring to some conference guide or if you are referring to some train or airplane schedule or if you are referring to some section of a newspaper where you are trying to find out some specific information we use scanning fine okay how do we scan actually right sir so sir there are many ways and here we can start with for example uh, start at the beginning of the passage then move your eyes quickly over the lines looking for new words related to the information you want to find then stop scanning and begin reading as soon as you find any of the keywords you are looking for that means it's like no uh, uh, you are looking for specific information right, what sir. is the deadline what is the last date right. who are eligible yes then uh, whether i am eligible right. so those kind of things right then, when do generally scan through the text when right. the context right sir when one needs to find a particular or specific piece of information and when one only needs to extract specific details from a text and when one studying or looking to find specific information from a book or article quickly as there is not always time to read every right. word because i am going through an advertisement let's say that right. let's see my eligibility hmm. and whether i fulfill right. and what is the last date how much money is to be paid right. for the text and where where the where the center of my exam right. kind of thing hmm. suppose if i am reading uh, let us say a riddle okay so i love to really read seriously yeah. then who does what with whom <laughs> right then what would be the solution so problems solving kind of thing right. so you you can't scan there you have to really read very well deeply. right okay now uh, some activities task for you learners and human will do that now uh, skim through the following text which appears on your screen come on skim through the first text yes sir so uh, here we have one advertisement job advertisement that is computer trained secretary do you have experience working with computers a full time position and uh, if answer is yes call on this number okay, you love to the information is this is for secretary right then i love to call the person to appear the interview in right so look at the second one yeah second is a uh, part time job uh, then we need a uh, shop assistants then uh, required between 18 to 26 
and we can call on this number. Ah, that's good. So this you want that three four inf uh, three or four pieces of information right. that you are using. Right. Now let's let's scan through the following text. Mm -hmm. So I am reading out, okay, but you will have to you assume that you are scanning through. Okay. Uh, Ramesh Kumar, Ramesh is twenty one years old and would like a part time position to help him to pay his university expenses. He can only work in the evenings. So then second one, Priti Sharma. Priti went to a business school and studied computer and secretarial skills. She is looking for a first job and would like to have a full time, full -time position. position. Now, this is scanning through. So, what do you get? What do you scan through when you right, read these sir. two? Sir, after reading uh, two job advertisement and uh, and after listening to the eligibility or the conditions of these two candidates, I would say Ramesh should apply for part-time job that and Preeti should apply for computer trained secretary position. So permanent, a kind of regular job. Right, full-time right. job. That's what uh, learner, this is how we scan through the text and skim through the text. Uh, whether it is required every time, yes required. Right. Uh, when, when you do uh, teach, before the teacher does the science lesson right. or biology lesson, mathematics lesson, even history lesson, why don't you scan through or skim right. through the text beforehand right. so that you understand much better. Much better in class. It's a strategy. Right. Come on. So there are two kinds of approaches when you read. Right. So. You need not bother much about it, uh, learner, but let's get familiarized with it. Mm -hmm. One is top down, another right. is bottom up. Right. So what is bottom up? As it appears, you read a written text, printed text, but from the smallest unit, suppose here is your book. You read to understand here is a book. Nobody does that. That's in the initial years. Right. Uh, but the other one is you read the overall meaning of the text. Right. So this this passage is, uh, this text is about the book, hmm. about a book, I mean in general book, then kinds of books. So you what, what it does, it helps you. Uh, you you draw from your previous information mm -hmm. your your own knowledge mm -hmm. that's we call it top down approach mm -hmm. and all our reading at this level at the university level learners should be top level top right. top down approach top -down. your other skills help you you may have read lots of text before right so. this is what so we have seen skimming mm -hmm. scanning then top down and bottom up model right. now let's move on to understand some contextual clues which makes which helps the reader to read better. Right. Come on, you are going to tell the learners about it. Come right. On. So there are four common types of contextual clues. The first is synonym. Uh, I hope you already know the meaning of this word. That is a word with the same meaning is used in the sentence. Or nearer to the meaning. Yes, or nearer to the meaning. Then we have antonyms. A word with the opposite meaning is used in the sentence. And then next is the explanation. The unknown word is explained within the sentence or in the following sentence. Then example, specific examples might be found nearby that helps to define the meaning. So these are four types of contextual clues. Fine. Learners, your very text, anything you read as a context. What is that context? It situates the text, the ideas of the text in a particular situation. That is context. Suppose it may be a political write-up, it may be an environmental write-up. Right. So the learner should be able to, the reader should be able to connect with the context. Right. Sir. Uh, otherwise, your reading will not be able to. Uh, you will not be able to purpose. understand. Right. Purpose. For example, uh, if a child who has never seen, let us say, class four child who has never mm. seen sea, right, or an ocean, or a, a, a desert. If you give him or a, her a text at this level, mm -hmm. she would find it difficult. Right. Suppose some context is created in the text itself, and ocean is a vast, what's it? Uh, what's it? Amount of water. Right. Has, so then the child is introduced to the context. Mm. So contextual clues are important. How we can understand? You have really said synonym, antonym, explanation. Right. The writer gives it. Right. Now, learners. Let me give an example. I mean, you will have to find out, uh, use the word in a sentence, then find out the word, the context of the word murmur. Okay, okay. sir. Take a minute. 
to read and think and infer the meaning of the word okay, here is sir. a sentence for you mm -hmm. on the way to her room after just having been scolded savita murmured something under her breath right so what is the hint here so after listening to the sentence i can say that the word murmured mm. uh, has been used in that context where someone is speaking to oneself mm. so that other person cannot hear because she has yeah scolded. because she, yeah right so you can link the word scold and murmur to it right. this is kind of context right now learn us the fourth aspect we have seen skimming scanning contextual clues now we have to infer meaning from the text what right, is that inference so we 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 have we see lot of things hmm. so we infer some of the things we make inferences from the faces right. someone smiles so yeah. okay fine happy right. someone is grim so the person is angry, angry. so now uh, the text conveys you the mood right. and the meaning so right. now let's look at inferring meaning how can we infer meaning hmm. so infer meaning just not based on the words alone mm -hmm. what the meaning or the import of the statement the effect of the statement effect of the text which conveys right. so uh, let's do a task 2 3 minutes mm -hmm. here is a text for you mm -hmm. then you will have to infer meaning out of it so let me read out the sentence uh, the text for you okay gopal slowly got off the ground and wiped the dust from his pants there were several tears on both leg he could see blood through his through the holes he could see blood through the holes he picked up the gravel from his wounds wiped off the dust and looked at the motorbike the bike was on its side the front wheel was turned around and the wheel was spinning gopal's elbow and shoulder hurt as he struggled to pull the heavy bike upright once again he got back on his seat and headed once more for home now make a logical conclusion derive meaning out of the text answer the question how did gopal get injured how did you come to know through this text right sir sir uh, in this uh, particular text the very first line is stating this thing that gopal slowly got off the ground and wiped the dust from his pants so from this we can say that gopal fell off uh, you know uh, his motorbike and i know because the story begins with gopal and the motorbike was on the ground and also he has dust and gravel in his wounds okay learners thank you for for that it's it's a very simple text yeah. but when you read your science mathematics physics chemistry because some assumptions are made right so some say uh, in mathematics they say if this is this and right. that is that right. assume assume that x is equal to 100 right. then why should i assume you can't ask because mathematics make makes math problematization it right. problematizes an issue right. through language that makes you understand right this is what learners thank you heaven uh we have seen in this module particularly uh, the second one in appear uh skimming scanning contextual clues and then inferential in inferential uh, making a uh, inferences right so when you read a text we do many more things these are some of the essential things you should know uh, suppose uh, you don't understand a particular text what do you do read again to infer something right this is what uh, the short story writers they don't write everything right. you will have to infer and infer. Move, move 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 about uh, the text and move go ahead with the text right so uh, learners use these strategies right wherever you need to skim skim wherever you need to scan scan right. and use the find the contextual clues right then make use of it in all your reading we will close with it learners some task for you simply think about what is skimming scanning contextual right. clues right. inferencing and take a take a bit text and try to do all this right uh, try to apply all these strategies on that text so that you can more you know you can understand in a much better way while applying whatever you have read in this module thank you very much learners but one thing is clear reading comes by reading yes, uh, no one can teach you uh, uh, reading please keep reading that will help you 
the rest of your life yes so thank you very much learners we will meet you in the next module thank you heman for having been there uh, till thank then bye bye thank you sir thank you learners have a happy reading